Hello, Shadowcat back with more Endzone. And we've said goodbye to... What was it? Prometheus. Yes. Promethea? I forget. But they're all dead now. And that's because I am a terrible, terrible leader. But, fortunately, they're dead. I move on. And I learn, and I improve. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try this again. One more time. And I think that I have a plan this time to make sure that this time around we have enough clothing and tools to go around. Let's get into it. to build up a water and food supply and then and then we try to survive so let's pause real quick and see what we got here welcome to brighton i didn't pick the name they did um wow what is this an interesting location well it's definitely interesting all right and another interesting location. This place has 450 scrap in it. 180, 200. Wow. Uh, that's good because there is a lot of scrap around here. And that's going to make it really, really hard to build. Um, okay, well... Let's, uh, let's do our best then. I think before we can do anything, though, we're going to have to clear some of this scrap. This is not how I expected this to start off. So let's take our scrap here and we'll put it right here. And I'll put people to work. So right off the bat, I'm putting everyone on building. Let's get everyone to work on this. All right, wood gathered, scrap, come on. Are those chickens? They are chickens, I want chickens. All right, we have a scrap yard. Let's get ourselves some scrappers. Good. And furthermore, um, if we upgrade this, can this will this give us uh, more storage space? Provides more capacity with each upgrade. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get this upgraded right off the bat because I think we're going to need it for what I have planned. And that is, I want to have more scrap storage. I need all of this cleaned up so we can get some water. I had kind of something planned out in my head, but the way this is laid out, I'm not sure if it's gonna work that way. But you know what, that's okay. That is okay, we're gonna make this work. Oh, and they upgraded this already, cool. It is now a mounted bus. Doesn't really look mounted, but, I mean, I guess I'll take their word for it. Can we upgrade it again? No, no, we cannot. We need electronics for that, and that's, that's a long way off. Okay, it looks like most of this, however, is cleared. Good. Next up, water. So, um, since I'm not going to be able to really expand this way, I think I'll just go ahead and make room for two of these. Yeah. Two cisterns. That'll give us a lot of water storage. Here's my, my plan. I am going to build at minimum two of everything, like right off the bat. 
Whenever we go to build something, two of them. So there's one cistern. Uh, we're gonna need jetties. And I can put it here. And here. There we go. All right. Each one of these supports 10 people. But I'm going to put five people on because that's good enough for one. All right. So we have water. Now we're going to need food or shelter. Actually, we're going to need wood to build, like, anything else. So, right off the bat, I'm going to build some foresters. Just like this. And you know what? I may as well queue some of this up, too. We'll build foresters, and then I want hunting lodges. So, I'll put one hunting lodge here, one hunting lodge here. Trust me, I have a plan here. It's going to be a good plan, too. And if you believe that, uh, you'll buy this bridge in Kansas. Alright, how much scrap is in the area? Still quite a bit. Most of it up here. That's, that's fine, though. Right now, we need food. I'm going to take two people off a building. I'm going to put them on hunting. I want them bringing the food in. Excellent. And we're also going to need to start building a place for people to live. So where is a place that's kind of free of scrap? I found out if I use this gather scrap flag... I can kind of wave it around and show where the scrap is. So, like, there's lots of scrap up here. In fact, there's, like, too much scrap. Can't believe I'm saying that, but there is. I think over here will be the best place to start building our settlement. Or at least the, uh, the residential part of it. Maybe I could even build something kind of neat hugging the, uh, the mountain. That could be cool. So, housing, cabins. What if I did this? So, like, right there. And then we come over... And do this. I can do the same thing over here. Like this. Yeah, I like this idea. This will be neat. So there's some cabins queued up. Hopefully somebody will come and build those. Um, I'm going to have one builder, because I'm going to put a couple of people on Forester. Scrap Collector, I can take people out, because we have a ton of scrap now. And I will put these people... Also on hunting. Oh, and I have an extra person now, too. So that's good. But I have five people gathering water. Four people hunting. I mean, farming would be great. But right now, we're going to be hunter-gatherers. And you know what? We're full on scrap. I'm going to take two more people out of it. I'm going to put them on builder, actually. I want to get us some houses. I have other plans, but I want to get houses first. We have food, we have water, we need shelter now. And I gotta keep a close eye on everything up here. We still have 24 tools, we have 30 radiation suits. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. Uh, another child became an adult. I'm gonna put you to work on building right now. Come on, let's get the houses done. We still have plenty of wood.
there's another one. Okay. Um, looks like I'm gonna need a lot more how or a lot more cabins though. So let me queue those up. I'm actually gonna turn this way now. Oh, and I can't go any further that way because of the uh, scrap. Okay, that's that's okay. We'll come back here. I don't really want to get too close to this area because it's going to be industrial. But, I mean, I guess I just have to make it work. Actually, no, I don't have to make it work. Cancel this. I could just make, like, a neighborhood road. So, I'll just mirror these. Just like that. And over this way, we'll make a lot more of them. And that should work. Yeah, that should make a very nice road there. Except for this guy back here. I, I can't put a house there because it kind of it might kind of block everything in. I mean, these are kind of blocked in, but I guess people can go around behind or they can come through here. Either way, that should take care of our housing problem. Eh, temporarily. Very temporarily. After that, we're going to have to get, work on, get to work on resources. Cloth, metal, plastics. I mean, we got food coming in from the hunters. And... This will keep us going for a little while. I can spread this range out a little bit. So I can have you watching over here, mostly. This one, I'll have watching over in this area. I mean, that's where the animals seem to be. There's some chickens. And what else we got? Cows. I want some cows. You know, we haven't done pastures in any of the other playthroughs. I think now might be the time to do so. Okay, we still have one person who's homeless. I'm going to wait until another house is built. There we go. Done. Okay, now that that's done, let's get to work on resource collection. Because if we don't have cloth, metal, and plastic then we can't do anything. Now, I want to have two for each one, so... I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, wait, no, that's in the wrong place. Don't build that there. There's a nice middle line here. Yeah, right there. Just like that. I can do this, and this... I love symmetry. Symmetry is fun. All right. Build some of those, and we'll get to work on resource generation. How are we doing on water? We're doing good on water, actually. Yeah, we're doing really good on water. So when the drought comes, I think we're going to be just fine there. All right. We are getting some recyclers in. We're just going to need people to work them. But once we have the recyclers in, I'll be able to pull some people off of building and put them to work recycling. All right, two more. I will put you on building temporarily. Production stopped due to empty area? Where? What? The Forester Lodges? Hunting Lodge. Forester Lodge. There are still tons of trees around here. I don't understand. Oh, wait. Check scrapyards. The scrapyard. Okay. That's 
fine. Let's clear out some of this. Yeah, clear that out. Very good. Um, unfortunately, our storage appears to be full. And I'm not sure exactly what to do about that. We'll figure it out. All right, so refineries. I'm going to set these two to plastic. I'll set these two to metal. And I'm going to pull workers out from building, put them to work refining. Just like that. This will work out well. Oh, actually, you know what? I shouldn't be having the scrapper, scrapyard working over there. I should have the scrapyard working up here. Because I want to extend or expand up into this area for farms. Farms, pastures, basically just food generation as a whole. So we can get a variety, because variety is kind of important. And right now our variety is kind of low. What is this? Knowledge? Oh, we don't have any knowledge. We're dumb. Hey, we're not going to stay dumb, but we're dumb for now. All right, and already we are turning scrap into materials. And that is fantastic. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let things run like this for a little while. And I'm just going to let people be people. We'll build up a nice stockpile of these materials. And then when we need things, we'll be able to simply build what we need, or build the, the structure we need, and get to work cranking it out. I mean, this seems like a good strategy. It might not be, but it seems like it. But I mean, look at our, our enjoyment, or our... Uh... Oh, well, it just went down. But I mean, our, our confidence is up. Confidence is good. And if they're confident in me, why shouldn't I be confident in me? This place is so bustling. It is truly a special looking place. And we already have our residential area over here. It's all done. It looks good. Perhaps we should build something around here to make it look nicer. What do we got? Decorations. Um, we can build a scrap totem right here. I think this looks good. Yeah, why not? Uh, let's rotate that so it's pointed this way. There we go. Scrap totem. We can also go ahead and make some street lights. Can I put? I can't put one there. Oh, there's a house there. <laughs> That's right. Um, what else? Eh, no. We'll work on the scrap totem for now. That should be good. Oh, the drought has set in. Hmm. Well, at least we have plenty of, um... We, we have plenty of water. So we don't have to worry too much about that. We are gaining lots of plastic, though. 58 plastic, 56 metal, 24 cloth. We could get these upgraded, I think. Can we? No, we need coal. Right. Okay. Let's expand this direction a little then. So resources. Coal burner. Okay. Um. What if I put it like right here? I'll go one and two. We'll make two of them. Tube everything. I don't think I have anyone to really work the coal burner, though. We are up to 15 children, though. So we should have workers soon. I can see confidence is going down. It's kind of wavering right there on the edge. Eh... 
I'm not too worried about their happiness, but I am a little worried about their happiness. Just a little. And my one builder is, is probably crying right now. There's so much for them to do. Transferring resources? I mean, we only need wooden scrap for these. And we have plenty of both. Oh, here comes the rain again. The lake is filled. I almost thought I saw a fish. If I had more people, I might consider putting up a dock. But I only have two people right now. And I'm going to put them on charcoal burning here shortly. There we go. I put them on charcoal burning. And hopefully we can build up a nice stockpile of coal. We'll need medicine too, but I think we can get away with no medicine for a little bit. Just a little bit though. How are we doing on scrap collecting up here? I think we're doing pretty good, actually. Vermin have infested some of our warehouses and depots. We had to throw away a great deal of our stockpile of food. Okay. Um. We'll be alright. It's a minor setback. Although, speaking of food, okay, we have five new people here. I think it's time we put them to work. So here's what I do. I want to get started on farming. So food, cultivated fields. Okay, so I can't go any further than this. But I should be able to do this then. And 16. And I should be able to do this again. There we go. That will give us two fields. It's about the tight tightest I can make it to the, uh, the mountain. Resources. There's wood. Fantastic. We don't have any room for it right now. But we'll put some roots there. And we'll put peppers here. And we just need people to work it. I could put six people on this. There we go. Okay, we now have settlers without protective equipment. This is a problem. Fortunately, though, it is a problem that I think we're in a position to solve. We just need some tailors. So, resources, tailor shop. Now, how far back can I go? I can go this far back. That's the only one there, though, that I can put. So what if I do this? And I just come and bring this one down this far? Yeah. And that should be good. Actually, no, I'm going to build three of them. You know why? Because we can set one for making masks, or scarves, one for making charcoal masks, and one for making protect proper protective equipment. Assuming, of course, that I have the people to do so, which I should. I'm going to take my, my uh, extra settler and put them on building just for a little bit. Just to help us catch up. Yes, I know. No, no protective equipment. This one's already set to scarves. I'm going to set that one to masks. This one to radiation suits. 
And yes, I know, we're working on it. Trust me, we're working on it. I'm going to take some people off of farming and put them to work on building. I mean, I don't need the farm or too many farmers to plant the fields. More is better. But I'll, I'll use what I got. Oh, here's some more builders. Come help us build. Charcoal, we're up to 24. We have 112 metal, 104 plastic, 42 cloth. Not bad. Okay. There's another tailor shop. I just need one more done. Come on. Somebody? Please? Oh, wow, and the population is really exploding. Um, I can't keep building cabins, but one thing that I can do is I can make a shelter now. And that'll help out a little bit. So a shelter will fit pretty nicely right here, I think. There we go. Could even put another one over here if I wanted. Two shelters should be good. And then I could even put more cabins around them. I did a little tinkering and I found out that these uh, shelters are actually two cabins wide on the ends and three cabins wide on the sides. So it actually will, it looks really nice if you build a uh, shelter and then surround it with cabins. Does it look nice for the people living in the cabins? I don't know. But I mean, it's a thing that you can do. All right, I'm turning some of the builders off because I need tailors. Uh, I can leave some of you as builders. There we go. I am also going to need tools. But for now, let's just work on getting some tailoring done. Specifically, you. And you are working on it. As a matter of fact, you finish this up, and this will complete the, uh, the task. Oh, wait, I thought it would produce more. That's okay. Produce this one, and it'll complete the task. And gets a nice little payout in the process. There we go. It's a sure thing the new tailor shop will do a wonderful job. All right, so that's gonna help out there. Now, before they start complaining, I can already see we're out of tools. Let's see if we can head this one off. Workshop. I can fit it right here. And we'll build another one right behind it. Come, my builders. All right, no scrap tools. I want metal tools. And we have eight settlers right now who are ready to go to work. These are done. Um, they're not overflowing yet. There's a lot of young adults in here, though. But right now, this is going to have to be our population control. The last time we did this, the population exploded. And it was glorious. For a minute. And then it was less glorious. Okay, so there's that. Um... We need to fill these up. So there's 10 people in water carrying. There's eight farmers.
as people grow up, um, I will fill in these roles. We're down to the one builder, but that's kind of okay because we're working on tools. And that is all I want to do right now, okay? That's all I want to do. I just want to work on clothing and tools. Look at this. We are building up a stockpile. And you know what? I actually may set one of these as scrap tools. I think I'll leave one of these as scrap tools and one of these as metal tools. Scrap tools are not as good, but they're better than nothing. Alright, so with eight farmers, the farms are going nuts, which is good. Now, one of the things that I do want to do, I want cows and chickens. I want some cows and chickens. Nope, wait, I'm not going to do that. First, let's see if we can take care of medicine. An herbal hut. I, put, I can put an herbal hut right here. And as a matter of fact, I'll get two of them? Should I? Yeah, build two of everything. Let's get a nice stockpile of medicine going. How are we doing on scrap? Still lots out there, but that's because you're working alone. I can give you some help. All right, there's some help. What are we waiting on? We need cloth. Okay. Uh, hey, Chief, there's more and more of us settlers lately. If our population figures continue to rise so rapidly, it might lead to bottlenecks. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I am trying to head that off at the, at the pass, though. I mean, we, we have the shelters. And we still have one shelter that's completely unused so far. I did get a piece of advice, though, from someone. You're going to love this. So, I don't want to build any more housing because it's going to make the population explode even further. But something that I was reminded of is down here in community, there's all kinds of stuff. There's a medical facility, a school, the cemetery, yeah. There's also a campfire. Look at this thing. This thing is proper cool. And I'm going to build one right there. There's also a forum. And this is supposed to do something. I don't exactly remember what. But it does a thing. And it looks really cool, too. I right, look at that thing. So I think it's going to fit in nicely right about here. So my one lone little builder will work on that. I have more people. I'll put them to work on uh, hunting. And the more scrap we clear out of here, eventually, I hope... I can put in some, uh, some ranches. This should work well, though. We're up to 54 people already. 20 kids. Are the herbalists ready? Yeah, one herbalist hut is done. Um, I'll put two people on that for now. We'll fill it up as we go. We only just barely got all of our food positions maxed out. Now we can work on the resources. We're maxed out on scrap collecting, refining, tailoring. Uh, we're maxed out on technicians. But the rest? Well, the rest will come soon. And we are well and truly into the drought now. The lake is gone. But our reserves remain strong. 
We still need more cloth, though, and we still need more coal. And I think the reason we need, we need the cloth is just because the, uh... Well, hold on. Metal and plastic are maxed? You know, I bet I could set a couple of these back to cloth. That might help uh, move things up a little bit. Yeah, that should help. All right, next season is here. The rain should be coming. We're down to only one person who doesn't have tools. <gasps> Wait, there it is. The forum got built. Oh, and we missed it going up. But look at this thing. This is cool. Decrees? Birth control. An effect lasting decree, ongoing impact on the settlement till its abandonment period, the point in which time the decree is no longer in force. So I can stop people from having pee or from having children for three seasons. Or banish children? Banish the elderly? Food rationing, water rationing, or searching for survivors. Cool. But, no. Okay. Oh, we're up to seven people over here. I can tell six of them to go do something. I'm gonna have the six of you go into herbalism. Or four of you. And then two of you can go into forestry. And what are these? Dead bodies in our streets? No education opportunities or a feast. Dead bodies in the streets. More and more dead bodies are accumulating on our streets. You really ought to see to it that these poor souls have a place where they can go. Oh! they. This gives me side quests to do. Okay! We can do that. I think that'll be the first thing that we do, though, when we come back, because I am running a little bit long on time. However, it has been time well spent. We have a booming industrial sector over here. We're filling up our needs on almost everything except for tools. We're having a really hard time keeping up with those. But we are at least keeping up. Only one person currently doesn't have tools. Not to mention we have a nice residential area. We have a forum now. And someday we may have a campfire? Maybe. All we need is wood. We have wood. Eh, we'll get to it at some point. So when we come back, hopefully we can get that built. We'll build ourselves a cemetery, which should make people happy, I think. And I think we could put the cemetery right around here. I mean, that way we have a nice divider with the forum and the cemetery to keep our industrial area and our um, domestic area separate. That'll work. That's genius. Thank you, me. You're welcome, me. All right, so if you want to see how that plans out, then make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you're here for every video that comes out. If you know somebody else who likes settlement games like this, colony planners, stuff like that, or they like the whole Fallout post-apocalyptic aesthetic, then share this video with them. Then come back, both of you, both of you, come back. Leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I will see you next time for more Endzone. Until then, do like these people are doing, and take care. <laughs>